everybody, it's Eugene. So it's uh, time for another video here. And today what I'm going to be doing is scanning the interior of the car. And the reason I want to do that may be because there's some evidence or something inside that may be important. There could be some damage that I want to document. It could be any number of things. Now, I've seen people do this a number of different ways, but I think I found the best way, at least for me, that captures just about everything that I need and gets a lot of different coverage. And so I've seen some, some people open the windows and then try to reach in from the windows or try to open a door and kind of do everything from the inside by climbing inside the vehicle. And you could do that. I mean, you could open the back here and then kind of crawled inside and then try to get the front. And I will, in fact, try to do some of that, but without actually just climbing in. So the first thing to do is to open all the doors and that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so all the doors are open and if you can get all the doors open, then this is probably one of the best ways. Now sometimes doors are crushed, they're damaged, you can't get them open. Open the other side, open three doors, open whatever it is that you can that you can get in from. And the idea here is not that I'm just going to scan the interior. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan the interior, but I'm going to be going from door to door and all the way around the vehicle. So I'm basically going to be closing a loop and from each doorway here, open door, I'm going to try and scan as much as I can, at least to get as much coverage and to try and do this from different perspectives as well. And that's the key here. All the different perspectives, all the areas that are sort of underneath and in different places, that'll help to sort of get you the most complete interior scan possible. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire up Recon 3D here and I'm just going to call this uh, interior. Okay. And now, Depending on the resolution that you want, um, you know, you can go really, really fine. I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm probably going to go down to three millimeters. That's okay for what I'm doing here. And also I would normally do target detection. And I just did a video on target detection. And what I would do actually is put a target down at the back and put a target down at the front. And I've seen some people actually put targets just on the interior of the vehicle. But remember, the longer and the more spread out the targets are in your scene, the better it is, the more accurate data you're going to be getting. So I would actually go from the back to the front or some other uh, longer scale. And since I'm going to be going around the whole vehicle, it doesn't matter. I should be able to pick them up. But for this one, I'm just going to shut off the target detection. I'm just going to really be, be talking about the uh, scanning portion only. So I'm good with that. I'm going to go ahead and save and now I'm going to start to scan and you'll see that I'm going to enter sort of each each doorway try to get the back of the seats and then try to get down on the ground and then maybe I'm going to you know try to get the uh, seat back here and this whole area and then make my way around so let me start back here and let me go ahead and hit record okay so here we go and one of the benefits of doing it this way also is that you can combine this so if you have targets which are on the ground and you have targets um, you know you can do it like with the doors open and then you scan it with the doors closed what you can do is combine the two so you can go into a program like cloud compare and you know combine the two and then you can always just edit the doors to kind of uh, get rid of them, you can cut them out, and then you would actually have a scan of an interior and an exterior. So uh, the two together would be one complete scan. Now here, this is where, for example, sometimes people ask, hey, should I get an iPad or should I get a phone? And sometimes I'll say, hey, what do you want the iPad for? Um, if you're going to use it for you know, other things, then hey, go for it, it's pretty good. But if you're not going to uh, needed or you think just because it's got a little bit more power it's helpful well I would say probably just go with the phone just because of an example like this where you have a smaller space and you want to squeeze in the iPad is much much better okay so I think I've got that side done I'm gonna do this side let me get a little bit of the door like this and again I'm gonna try to scan from this side try to fill it all in now just to keep the video kind of reasonable I'm probably not going to get everything that I want but I'm going to get most of it for sure just across here all right and then I'm slowly going to move back and I'm going to move to the back here and there we go I'm going to get some interior like this and if I want I can actually kind of tuck myself in and then get to the uh, front there so for example if I wanted to I could kind of go like this and move in between the seats 
Okay, and then do something like this. Nothing wrong with that. Get the bottom of the seats, that's pretty complete. And I'm gonna move back a bit, like that. Okay, and I'm just gonna roll around the other side. And I'm gonna close this loop now. So I've got some good overlap. I'm gonna make my way into the door and I'm kinda back where I started. Now, if you're worried about it, you know, you can go over again, you can jump in again. Um, you know, you've got uh, some time here. So I've got, I don't know, it's just been about a couple of few minutes. So I'm just gonna stop there like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna process this on the cloud. So I'm just gonna say, go ahead and process on cloud. So this is gonna upload, we're gonna crunch through and then you'll get an idea of what this is like. And hopefully it works out. Okay, so we are in Cloud Compare right now, and you can see that I've got the scan which has come in. And it looks, a, you know, it looks messy up here because we don't have the roof or anything like that. And that wasn't the intention. If we're going to be scanning the interior, what I want to be able to do is go around the outside. So let's just take note of a few things. Color. One thing you'll note is that on the interior, you'll see that it's a little bit brighter than what it actually is in real life. And I think that just has to do with the exposure of the camera being adjusted. When you put it inside the vehicle, uh, you'll see that the exposure kicks up and things become a little bit brighter because it is a dark interior. On a lighter interior, this probably uh, wouldn't have as much of an effect. Also, you can see I kind of went around the outside. There's a little bit of a bright spot here uh, on the ground and that may be because when I was pointing it in this area, the ground is sort of the lightest part and everything else is dark. So whatever part of the ground it catches, it'll get exposed bright. So come around, everything looks pretty normal. And then you'll see on this side here, it's also quite bright on the ground. And I think, again, I think that's just the effect of pointing the camera to the inside and catching part of the ground through the uh, passenger side doorway. And, you know, go around, complete the uh, loop here, and then get back to where we were before. What I've done here is I have split this up because, you know, you can see I didn't bother with the roof or the, uh, the interior uh, upper parts. So I'm just going to, uh, let me just shut that off here so we get a little bit of a cleaner look here. Now, of course, I didn't do the trunk, so that's empty. And I'm just going to show you the, the bad part. Uh, you know, you can see it looks pretty good. Now, of course, I went kind of quick and I should have done a little bit better job. So you see the low parts here. I didn't actually point the phone in these areas. And so as a result, they haven't been captured really well. Uh, over here, okay, not too bad. You can see this part of the um, of the uh, chair or the seat, right? Should have caught that a little bit better. Uh, the floor where the pedals are and stuff are okay. That's not too bad. The top of the dash is difficult actually because you have to try and get the phone perpendicular to these surfaces. So you may have to get in a little bit closer. And if we get in here, similar kind of thing you see down at this part i didn't i didn't point the phone in this particular area so we're missing a bit of data but nonetheless you know for an overall if you have to take some measurements of the interior you know we have the seats we got the headrest more more or less back here i can see a little bit well i'm not going to get the back of the headrest here i would have to have uh, opened up the trunk and then come at it from that side which which would have been absolutely possible too uh here the top of the headrest is missing because it's just hard to get the phone up top so a little bit more that i could have done there but yeah if, if i just wanted to get some interior measurements left right that sort of thing then this would have been enough to uh to get some of these measurements but in reality if i had to do this again i'd probably take a little bit more time and it's all about getting these little areas here and filling in as much as possible so with another 60 seconds or so this would have been captured no problem so that's it, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and uh, have fun scanning vehicle interiors. Bye-bye.